Hey guys, my name is Shubhra Shrivastav and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add images on a trail on your cursor movements in your framework project. So as you can probably see on the window, this is how the effect looks like and without any further ado, let's jump right inside the framework project. So the first thing that we are going to do is select the framework project and open the framework project where we want to add this effect. Now the next thing that we are going to do is go to the link provided in the video description, click on the copy component button right here and go back to your framework project. Press Command V or Control V to paste that similar component and we have this component right here. Now I want this effect to be visible on my entire viewport screen so what we are going to do is select the component and we are going to change the width to 100% so that it uh, stretches across my entire screen and next we are going to center align it make sure that you select the height and set it to 100 VH which is 100 viewport height and now we are going to align it to the center and at the top like this. Now we can simply start adding some images to this component so we can scroll down, select the images tab and we can start adding some images. You can add your own image or you can even use the plugins that we have in Framer so I'm gonna select Unsplash and I'm gonna pick some random images for you to get started with. Now as you can see I've added these four images for you. Now we can go ahead and stylize these images so we can choose the width and height of these uh, images. I'm gonna set this to around uh, 200 width and height is uh, let's say 300 pixels. We can also add some border radius. So let's say we want to add a border radius of around uh, 8 pixels. I think that's a good number. We can also increase or decrease the frequency of these images. So I'm gonna set this to around 24. I think uh, uh, that's a pretty good number. So let's set this to around 24. We can also change the duration of the images that are visible. So right now it's set as default as one second. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And we can also change the animation however you want. So we can choose the in animation and the out animation and we can change it or customize it the way we want. As you can probably see, we can change the blur value. So let's set this to around eight pixels. And we can also choose to animate in 2D or 3D. And that is pretty much it. That's all you have to do to create this image real effect. So right now, if I go back to the framework project, Go to the preview option as you can probably see uh, it might take a little to uh, load all the all of these images for you but once these are loaded the effect is uh, buttery smooth and that's all you have to do to get this effect so that was it for this video guys i hope you liked it please like comment and share it with your friends have fun bye bye